Hi everyone, my name is Deanna and welcome to my channel about stories that happen in life. Sit back, pour yourself a hot drink. I think this is going to be very interesting. Well, before we start, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a lot of new and useful videos. Olya got married at 18. Her mom somehow believed that if you delayed even a little bit then, what happened if a girl got married a year or two later, even five years later, the sky would have fallen to the ground. But mom insisted, and Olya married, you might say, the first man she met. At 19, she gave birth to a son. Olya was unlucky. All of her life, she was surrounded only by happy families, not a single divorce, friends, or neighbors. Olya saw how happy her friends and just familiar women in marriage are, how their husbands love them, how they take care of them, how they spoil them, admire them, and how diligently they help to raise their children. All around her Olya saw only happiness, just unbelievable. Sometimes it seemed to her that she was the only one in the whole world who wasn't happy. But maybe her mother, her mother never shared with Olya, never told her anything about her life. Olya only knew that she had never been married. After the wedding, Ilya, Olya's husband, quickly realized that this girl was now his property because her mother didn't seem to need her at all and she had no father, so there was no one to stand up for her. No, the husband didn't beat his wife. He doesn't need that kind of notoriety. Or I was 13 years older than Olya and by that time I had already occupied a relatively high position head teacher at school. So I behaved very decently, very softly laid, but it was unbearably hard to sleep next to him. Olya was the daughter of her mother's friend. The women had conspired with each other to marry off her mother's children, and she was worried that her son would never marry at all. And Olya's mother wanted to be free of the burden in the person of her daughter and live at her pleasure. As soon as the girl graduated from school, Oli's mother began to actively search for her boyfriend, but quickly realized that there was no need to go far. The son of the bride is very suitable. Adult, independent, with a position, this is good. The children will be beautiful, who else to look for? The friend didn't mind, Ilya didn't mind at all. Olga is so pretty, in addition, properly brought up, which means that his wife will be good and daughter-in-law obedient. They married, and Olga moved to live with Ilya's family. There the apartment was more significant, maybe to conveniently get to work. Olga quickly realized that happiness from now on to wait nowhere. But where to go? Who needs her with a child a few years later? She and Ilya moved into her apartment. Of course, it was not because of the first man who married her, but in fact it was. Hadn't she married the first man who agreed to marry her? It wasn't even about giving the girl the freedom to make her destiny. 24 years had passed. Olya took off her wet raincoat and unfolded her umbrella. Today, he came to work in the rain, autumn. The office was gradually filling up with people. The accounting department was buzzing with voices and women were sharing news and discussing the weather. Someone was drinking coffee. Someone was touching up their eye makeup and curling their curls with curlers. The working day began. Phones rang, keyboards came to life and printers started working. Olya loved her job. Yeah, it wasn't creative. And that not everyone paints pictures or writes books. Somebody has to do numbers. If she was an artist, she'd paint pictures about her life. If she was a writer, she'd be writing books about her life again. And so she was an accountant and she never thought about her life while she was working and it helped her a lot. When Olya decided to go to university, everyone was against it. Her mother, husband, mother-in-law. But this time she has already shown character and did not give in to her relatives. Take care of the house. Why do you need it? Said the mother. As to why Ilya earns a little, money is needed. Olya gave strong arguments. We mothers will always help you. But Olya didn't listen. Having married her son, she had grown up sharply. Now she has a growing son, she has to think about him too. She is responsible for the child. Yes, she is not alone, she has a husband and a mother, but no matter what. 
When her son was two years old, he got a job as a store clerk and applied to the institute. At school, she studied well, so it was easy. I studied by correspondence and successfully graduated from the Faculty of Finance. Olia hoped that after receiving a diploma, her husband would feel better with her. But she hoped in vain. Things got even worse. By that time, Ilya Petrovich had already taken over as headmaster and was very happy with it. But it did not occur to him to be happy for his wife. After all, now there was a chance that his wife could move up the career ladder and start earning more than he did. That would have been a nightmare for him. Olya couldn't even say a word about her successes at work, or I would immediately start yelling at her, bulging my eyes that she was the smartest, and where does that arrogance come from, Ud? Hearing you being mean to your son, disregarding your dignity, singing songs. What's wrong with Ilya spoiling a boy, growing up to be a narcissistic egotist? And this selfishness you're talking about, don't you dare teach me. Shut your mouth, and not so much. The cordial relations in the family have now completely deteriorated. My husband started complaining to Olga about everything. Ilya didn't cheat on his wife, but he was a real tyrant. Olga didn't understand. She wrote it all off to her husband's hard character, and he belongs to her. Of course, she likes him. He just does not show his love, which is somewhere deep in his soul, very deep, so it is not visible. Olya herself did not love her husband with some crazy love, but always treated him with respect and care, or I didn't appreciate it. He just used the woman for his purposes. She made him comfortable in the house and fulfilled all his wishes, from the desire to eat a plate of delicious soup to the desire to look like a model family man, as befits a school principal. And the idea that receiving, you need to give something in return, never occurred to him at all. His son, having served in the army, did not return home, met a girl in a foreign city, and got married. He settled there forever. Olga and Ilya were left alone in the house. Dinner time was approaching. There were many things to be done. Olga didn't even notice how the time flew by. Well, let's have lunch. Her colleague Irina Alexeevna came up to Olga. Come on. Olga immediately became friends with this woman. Irina Alexeevna helped her a lot. As soon as he came to work at the plant, colleague was older, and despite the age difference, they became friends. Back in the accounting department, Olga saw a bar of chocolate on her desk. That's when she was surprised. Irina Alexeevna laughed. Everyone knows, but she doesn't. What they know, Olya didn't understand. Olya, are you serious? Don't you see anything? Well, you surprise me. Ilya Petrovich brought you a chocolate bar. He came into the office before lunch and quietly put it on your desk. But it turned out that it was only for you. Everyone else saw. Irina Alexeevna laughed, and Olya could not utter a word. Ilya came into the office. Why? When he came in, Olya, you seem to be working too hard. Maybe you should ask for a vacation. My Ilya came, but I didn't see him. Olya waved her hands helplessly. Your dolly started to realize something. Ah, I think I figured it out. I saw came in. This as his new head of security. His name is Ilya. Ivan Petrovich. What's the big deal? Asked Irina Alexeyevna. Video, Oli's surprise. My husband's name is also Ilya. Ilya Petrovich. Come on, or I'm Petrovich too. What a coincidence. Olya immediately remembered this man. He had come to the factory quite recently, two or three months since she had heard something about him. A woman. There was a lot of murmuring in the accounting department. A reserve officer, a handsome man, and most importantly, divorced. Very recently. There are single women on the female staff, so such an event did not go unnoticed. In a large accounting department, there were many beautiful women. Yes, almost all were free, like birds in flight. But Ilya Petrovich, for some reason, stopped his gaze on the modest married Ola. He liked her, he liked her right away, or I knew she was married. So what? He'd been married a while ago, too. What if she's unhappily married, just like him? 
She had that look in her eye, no, she's not happy, he can feel it. When he sees her, he wants to go up to her and hug her and hold her, keep her close and protect her. It's especially hard to see her go home to her husband in the evening. That day Olya was late at the office, she had to do some urgent work. When she had already turned off the computer and got up from the desk, the door to the office opened and entered or I Petrovich. Good evening, good evening, I see a light in the window. I came to check if everything was all right. Everything's fine, I'm leaving now. Let me give you a ride, I'm on my way. Okay, thank you, agreed Olga. It's getting late, she thought. Transportation is bad, and it's cold. While we were in the car, we got to talking. It seemed to Olya that she'd known this man for years. Yes, him too, Ilya Petrovich. Why don't you bring me some chocolates? Because the whole accounting department is laughing at me. Why am I married, Ilya Petrovich? By the way, that's just terrific. My husband's new namesake. He's Ilya Petrovich too. I know what Olya was surprised about. The charges are binding. The head of security must know everything about the employees of the company. The factory is special. The car stopped near the entrance where Olya lived, although she did not give her address. Don't bring me any more chocolate, please. Thank you for taking me home. Goodbye. Wait, Olya, you're mad at me for what I'm mad at you for. We hardly know each other. I'd like to get to know you better, but I don't. Why I'm married, you know, and I have nothing to look forward to. You got that right. We can't get any further than chocolate because I'm a faithful wife. Thanks for giving me a ride. Goodbye. Olya got out of the car. Back home, she spent the whole night thinking about that conversation. Or he liked her. But it follows that he soon quit and found a job closer to home. It's been two years. Olya's been divorced for a year. She left Ilya. He didn't raise his hand on her, but started threatening her. I should have taught you a lesson. A wife should obey her husband. I'm the head of the house, and it's your business to keep quiet. Olya did not keep quiet. To her great dismay, her mother filed for divorce and division of property. Olya got over the divorce easily, although a year ago she didn't even think it would happen. She probably never loved her husband. Olya got her maiden name back. The apartment was sold. The money was divided, or I moved in with my mom and Olya rented a place. Goodbye, and then we'll see. One day she was riding the bus and met Irina Alexeevna. After Olya changed her job, they almost stopped seeing each other. And then Olya's life spiraled downward. Scandals, divorce. And then she sees her former colleague on the bus, Irina Alexeevna. Hello, Olga. What does the life you work in look like? I called you once, but the phone is unavailable. A lot has happened to me in my life. Irina Alexievna, I got divorced. Yes, what and why were you living with your husband? Not bad. But then, all of a sudden, at one point, everything went wrong. It happens. Irina Alexievna didn't ask any more questions. Olya gave him her new phone number. They decided to call and meet sometime, to talk about everything. Olya was about to get off the bus when Irina Alexeevna suddenly asked about Ilya Petrovich. You know about our factory, Ilya Petrovich? No. What, he doesn't? A case? Olya got off the bus, thinking, I walked around the city. It was autumn again, yellow leaves swirling, falling to the ground, and it was raining again. There was just no man she had once loved so much. And no one had left chocolates on their table. Ola wanted to cry. When she got home, she went on social media and immediately found him in a picture. Ilya was standing next to a pretty woman, hugging her by the shoulders. Under the photo, he wrote, My wife, Olya. Why didn't she find him earlier, didn't write to him, didn't tell him that she was free now and wouldn't give up his candy for anything? But why has another year passed? Olya sat on a bench in the mall across from the bookstore. She had bought a book and decided to flip through it. It was a day off. There was no hurry. Crowds of people were passing by. Olya read the book without noticing anyone. She got carried away. Suddenly, out of the corner of her eye, 
she noticed that someone stopped near her. Olya looked up. Hi. Next to her stood Elia, not her ex-husband, but the other one. Hi. Olya was happy. How's life young? It doesn't seem like honey, or I was smiling. It's all right, you're fine too. You've become beautiful. You used to be ugly. You used to be simple, but now you're beautiful. Why do they say that all women become prettier after divorce? They're not lying. I can see why you changed your address. Why is your husband stalking you on the phone? No, it's not that. I just changed my last name. You were too hasty with your last name. Now you'll have to change it again. Why? Olya doesn't understand. You'll marry me because now I won't let you go. Come on, marry Ilya. Just like that, to the first man you meet. Yes, Ilya told me that he broke up with another Olga. It was a mistake. They didn't get along well together. They're strangers, not as women, but so Leals. Everything is completely different for him. They got married. May they be well. Sometimes a happy life at 45 is just beginning. And at 50, and even at 670. But a lot of people don't believe that. And for some, loneliness is salvation. A man is tired. You can understand him. What's interesting is that I see people around me, that's all. It's just that those who believed are not lonely and are happy.